Hey, badass business owners. So you want to know how much to mark up your products so you can maximize your profits. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, the first question is, what is markup? The thing you need to keep in mind is that markup is the amount you add to your cost of goods to cover your expenses and your profits. Let's just say you have a product and you sell it for $15. Well, the very first thing you should ask yourself is what should you charge your customers? Well, the first thing is, yes, you need to be at market value. That's a no brainer, but you also need to make money. So we're going to talk about what gets people in trouble because at the end of the day, this is about how much money you put in your pocket, not how much you sell. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's take a look at this product that we sell. We know it's going to cost us $15. So our cost of goods for this product is $15. Well, the next question you need to find out is how much should you add to cover your expenses and your profit? Well, everything we do is a percentage of sales. One of your goals is to learn your business numbers, right? So you're familiar with your profit and loss statement. And if not, we've got some other videos that'll walk you through how to read your profit and loss statement. But you're going to take your profit and loss statement and you're going to look at what your expense line typically runs for the month. And you're going to use that percentage as well as your profitability for your business. So you can use that as a gauge. So what we're going to do is when we're setting up our pricing, we keep these numbers in mind. So in this fictional business that we're talking about, we look at the fact that our expenses typically run 25% and our profit is typically 35% because that's what we're going to pay ourselves out of, right? Is that profitability. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, what price am I thinking to do? Well, when I'm looking at my competitors, the right way to be is around $45. I've got something that's a little bit better than my competitors. I want to charge the right thing. So I want to shoot for $45. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use those percentages to work backwards to see if you've marked it up up enough money because you're taking it from the $15 up to the 40. So you're assuming the $25 is enough. Well, if we take the $45 that we're going to sell it for, we know our expenses are going to be 25% of that. And we also know that our profitability is going to be 35% of that. In which case, now what we're looking at is that's a total of 60%, which leaves 40% left over for our cost of goods. So if we're looking at our $45 and we're just curious as to what 40% of that would be, we take the $45 times 40% and it turns out our cost can be as high as $18. So we know that our costs are $15. So we're way ahead of the game. Matter of fact, if we take our 15 divided by this $45 price, we find out that our costs are actually only running 33%. So, so far, so good. Now let's see how our expenses panned out. We take our $45 times the 25% we need to set aside. And so we take the 45 times the 25% and it's $11.25. And now if we take our $45 minus the $15 in cost minus this $11.25, after our expenses, we see that our profit is the potentially to be $18.75. So let's take and see what that is. $18.75 divided by our $45 means that we're hitting 41.67% in profitability, way better than our 35% goal. So great markup. We're hitting our targets. Everything's looking good. But now let's just say that you're going to chase your competitors and one of your competitors has dropped that price and they're actually only at 35%. You're like, oh, I wish I I could charge more, but I can't. I got to be at 35%. Well, let's see if this still works for you. Well, our cost didn't change. It's still $15. So let's take our $15 and divide it by the $35. And it turns out that now our percentage is 42.8%. But remember, our goal is to be at 40% because that's what we have set aside and we determined earlier. So right now we're already over our percentage, which means we have less money for our expenses and for our profitability. Now, if we take the 25% that we've been setting aside from each sale times the $35, that means we're going to set aside $8.75. Now you notice this number is much less than what it was at $45 because at $45, we were setting aside $11.25. Now we're only setting aside $8.75. The question becomes, will that be enough? And honestly, you won't know until you get to the end of the month. So this could come back and bite you because that's a $2.50 swing that we have there that may come back. Time will tell on that. But what does that leave us for profit? Well, if we take our $35 minus the $15 minus the $8.75, that means that there is $11.25 left 
over, which turns out to be 32%. And our goal was 35%. So now we're finding out that guess what? We are less than what our goal was for our profitability. Once you get to the end of the month, you're going to find out that if you keep selling these products at that lower price of $35, only collecting $8.75 at a time to set aside for your expenses, if for any reason you really do need something closer to that $11, guess what? You're going to have a shortage and it's going to come out of the profits. This is one of the reasons why you want to make sure that you do the correct markup and you have the correct pricing and you have a gauge in there of where you need to be. Because at the end, if your goal is to hit 35% in profit, you're gonna, and your expenses are actually running higher because you're selling it for cheaper, guess what? That percentage is gonna go up on the expense side. So 25% soon becomes 30 and your profit goes from 35 down to 30%. At the end of the day, you gotta know your numbers because this is gonna help you price better. So this way you capture everything that you need. So make sure that you really dive in and understand your profit and loss statement because it's got the numbers you need to ensure that you're pricing correctly. So just to recap, remember markup is taking your cost of goods and it's the amount of money you add on top of it to cover your expenses and your profits. You need to understand those percentages as they relate to markup because that's going to help you price better. And if you're ready to learn more about your business numbers, then head on over to our course. Know your business numbers. Have the power to blow up your profits and sales. It's over at knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. We take a deeper dive not only on your PL, we talk about your gross margin, we talk about the reports that you need to know and understand, a whole bunch of good, juicy stuff, a deeper dive into it. And if you liked this video and what you saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, click that bell, make sure you never miss any of the episodes that come out. Remember, we try to keep them short and sweet so you get a nugget to go. And if you love listening and learning on the run, don't forget to download the Badass Business Owner podcast onto your phone using your favorite podcast app. We also are located, all the shows are here on YouTube as well. Now get out there and be the badass that I know you are.